Hey guys, my name is uh, Akil from Akil's World and what I want to do today is welcome you to another video. Uh, today's video is more of a tutorial than uh, anything else and uh, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to set up a local server environment on your Mac. Now I will be doing future tutorials on how to do it on the Windows based PCs as well but at the moment because I'm using the Mac mostly I'm going to show you how to do that. Now. The reason why you want to probably do that is if you're designing websites and doing some coding and stuff, it's best to test it locally rather than having to upload it to your local server, with your main server, because you're going to be using more bandwidth, you're going to be having problems, you're going to have to edit a live, live site while it's on a live server. With this, you can install the on your machine, test everything locally, do backups, do anything you want to do, change design, and then upload it without any problems. Now, because you're going to be check testing it out locally you can do whatever you want so that the live site doesn't be affected in any way shape or form well until you upload it so i'm going to go through this uh, video uh, as, as slow as possible if i if, if, if that's possible for me and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the video now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into chrome just because it's my choice of browser at the moment and i'm just going to type go to google straight away now in Google just type in MAMP and it's the first one that comes up which stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL and PHP so all you need to do there is just click on uh, MAMP now you get two versions of this you get the standard version which is greyed out and then you get the blue version which is the pro version now to be honest you don't really need the pro version for this even though when you download it you get both versions you can test it out but the pro version is mostly if you're going to be doing virtual hosts and stuff like that so I'm going to download the standard version because that's what I'm going to be using and what I'm going to do is in my downloads folder create an MAMP folder and install it there <coughs> I do apologize about my cough now because I've already installed it I'm not going to download it again so I'm just going to go into my downloads folder find my MP MAMP uh, folder and open the software so it should be somewhere here okay so I'm just gonna unzip this and that's it you got your MAMP package file so all I'm gonna do now is just click on uh, here just, just double click and you come to the installer now the installer is pretty s simple and straightforward and it, it takes you step by step so I'm gonna click continue it's gonna install both the MAMP and the Pro edition of, of this uh, application you can read the agreement says so like blah 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 now you know you're gonna have to agree to it anyway so just click continue if anyone's ever read them just let me know uh, what they actually say now because I'm not I'm the only user on the Mac um, so it doesn't really matter but if you've got multiple users you can select who you want it to use now it's best just to let anyone use it I'm just gonna click install now I've got an admin password on my uh, Mac so I'm gonna type in my password to allow this application to run and once you've done that I'm going to click uh, continue and there you see is the files are writing to my hard drive and that's it that's as simple as that and it's done so you've you've basically installed your server so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually launch the pro application so I'm going to click go uh, go into applications folder and I'm going to scroll down to find my uh, map folder so which is there it is now it's got both the map standard and the pro pro edition you can try out for a trial and then you will have to buy it the map standard edition is free you can use there's no limitation to it or whatever it, so I'm just gonna click on the app uh, application it gives you the option if you want to launch it the pro now because I don't want it to launch and I don't want it to keep reminding me of the pro version what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the uh, the little box so that way in future when I launch the application this box doesn't show up so I'm going to just uncheck it now and click launch map as you can see there now what it is the server application is loading now you won't get this screen unless you're using a program which is called little snitch the, the program is, is a great program and what it does is it monitors who's and what application is accessing the internet or is trying to access your resources so because I want to allow this so I'm going to click allow <clears throat> and there you go your server is set up you can do anything from this point uh, start creating scripts you install WordPress Magento Joomla whatever you want to install you can do it now I want to do some changes to this so I want to click on preferences and when I do click on preferences it's going to tell me 
everything that I need to know about this setting. So if I click preferences, that's the cache I'm using and the current PHP version that I'm using but that comes with this package is 5.3.6. Obviously you can update it later on but that's more manual manual labor. My HT docs folder where everything's going to be stored is stored in the applications map directory. Now I don't want that. I don't want it to be installed in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my second hard drive which is my two terabyte internal hard drive and in there I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it HT Docs. The reason I'm doing this is because I want all my scripts, all my testings to be done on a bigger hard drive rather than my standard small hard drive. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click open on the installation thing and select HT Docs and click open. So there you go, that I've changed the document root folder. And that's basically where, where I'm going to always have it. So I'm going to click OK on that. And then as you can see, the server restarts itself. So when the server restarts itself, I still want to do a few changes. So I'm going to go back on preferences. And this time, <coughs> again, it tells you if you want that option to go to pro. I want to change the ports. Now, I don't want it to say 888. So I'm going to click set default Apache. So it'll be the default Apache ports. Uh, and then as you can see, it's changed to 80 and my SQL port is 3306. Obviously, for security reasons, I'm going to change that later on. So the server will restart itself again. It may ask for a password. In this case, it does. So I'm going to enter my <coughs> Mac password. And then after that, I'm going to click OK. Now, the reason why I've done, done it that way, because I don't want to be typing in HTTP localhost 8888 or whatever the port number is. I just want to type in HTTP uh, localhost and I want it to go straight to my doc fo folders. That's as simple as that. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do now is, you can change it to whatever you want as long as you remember, but I'm a bit lazy at times. So I just wanna keep it at the standard settings. So I'm gonna type in localhost. <coughs> Actually, you need to type HTTP localhost. And what you'll see, it will go straight to my HT docs folder. Now, at the moment, I've got nothing in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my HT docs folder and I'm just going to create a new folder in there or or you can create a document or anything and well, before, before that what I'm going to do is because I'm going to be using this all the time I'm going to just drag it to my left and put in my favorites now I'm going to create a new folder called test and, uh, and I'm going to just refresh that and as you can see straight away on my local server it's got the folder so basically that's it, that's everything. That's uh, how you set up a server on your Mac and use it for anything. I will be doing future tutorials in how to set up WordPress, uh, Magento, any content management system. If there's any tutorials you want on any of the uh, on the systems or applications or how to do themes and stuff, then uh, please hit the subscribe and I'll be more than happy to do a video tutorial for you. Uh, my website will be using things like WordPress and stuff and if you want to see what my current website looks like is just go to www.akilsworld.info um, and there will be a links on stuff in there. My website will be launching soon but I will be doing more tutorials and everything so I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I look forward to doing more videos with you guys. So no matter who you are, what you're doing, wherever you are, respect everyone and Peace out.